What's going on guys, Lobo here for finally some freaking Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, I'm coming at you today with a, with a, what's this? Yeah, Gravekeeper, there we go, Gravekeeper deck profile, wow, almost slipped, whatever. Gravekeeper deck profile, um, yeah. Uh, I did a Gravekeeper deck profile back in, um, what was it, like a month ago? I think it was like a month ago, before Legacy of the Valiant. And now it's going to be with some of my Legacy of the Valiant stuff implemented. Um, but to be honest, the deck really hasn't changed much here. Let's just go straight into it. Uh, two Assailants, you know, simple. Um, 2000 Beat Stick under Necro Valley attacks the monsters from defense mode. Good against Bujins and like Fire Fist. And like bigger monsters that have low defense. That's the only thing he's good against. Um, three Gravekeepers Commandant. Uh, the 2100 such as Necro Valley, short, simple. Uh, Gravekeeper's Descendant. Pop tribute to Gravekeeper Monster. Pop a card on the field. Simple. Uh, now for the new stuff. Uh, three Gravekeeper's Nobleman. Uh, then when this card, let me just read it to you guys. When this card you control is destroyed by battle with an opponent's attacking monster and sent to your graveyard. You can special summon one Grape Monster from your deck and face on defense position, except Grape Keeper's Nobleman. Wow. Move full screen. That's really like the only thing of the support I'm actually running. So, yeah. Uh, triple Recruiter uh, sent to the graveyard. For, you control sent to your graveyard. Get a Grape Keeper, 1500 less defense. Simple. Uh, this searches everything but Spy. Uh, three Spy. Main engine of the deck. Flip special summons. Okay, the flip of spy and special summoning gravekeeper is mandatory. Okay, if you flip spy and you have no more gravekeepers that you can special summon in your deck, you have to show your deck to your opponent. I dueled like five people on DN. They were like, oh, I have no targets. And I'm like, let me check your deck. And they're like, why if I have no targets? And I'm like, it's not an optional effect, but whatever. Uh... And then something random. One Mali Cyber End Dragon. Um, and you just... It's just a 4,000 beat stick you can just throw out there in the Necro Valley. If anything, you just allure Darkness him away. It's like... You don't really need to run him. But... Just cause, you know. Uh, one Allure Darkness. All Dark deck. Simple. One Book of Moon. Uh, stop attacking monsters. Or help you get over something. Or set your spy again. Double Steli. Recycle your stuff. Triple MST, Trap Heavy Format. Uh, triple Necro Valley, Heart of the Deck. Simple. Uh, triple Pot of Duality, Consistency. One Royal Tribute, open this in Necro Valley, you basically win. Um, one Bottomless, one Compulse. Uh, either two D Prisons or two Mirror Forces. It's your choice, really. I just put one in one so you can show you because you guys can do either or. Two Chain! Okay, enough of that. Two chains. Hold on, let's save deck real quick so they don't get booted out. Uh, two Phoenix chains, stopping effects, stop the cards from attack. Pretty good. One seven tools because you don't want to get trap stunned or palooza or gear gear geared or can't think of something else. Fuck, it just stops traps. It's a good card. <laughs> it stops a warning. So, good card. Uh, one warning, pay 2000 to get everything, and one torrential. Simple. Onto the extra deck, we're wanting one Cyber End Dragon to banish for Malefic, Dweller, Diamond Dyer, Cowboy, Levier, because we actually have threes, even though the threes I think are better as level threes on the field. But if you ever get desperate, you have to overlay for some threes. Well, you got Levier, My Stroke, another one of your desperate plays, Engineer, uh, 101, Too Strong. When your opponent has a special summon monster, you can't get over. And it's an attack position. Basically, you just say, give me that. Um, fortune tune. Like, why not? I guess. I, I really couldn't think of anything. Uh, Black Ship of Corn. Double Key Build. This is probably the only extra deck card you're actually going to go into. Just to protect your cards. Like, you, you go Key Beetle. Target an Echo Valley. Then next turn, target Recruiter. It's... Either way, you're, you're benefiting from it. One crazy box, because why not? Roach, just because lightsworns are going to be a thing again. And 
stop special summoned monsters. Um, hell, with the heretic rulers when they drop the death and it just negated summon. Cool shit, good shit, good shit. And one Zen mates for desperate plays. Um, this stuff on the side deck is not cards like that are actually in a side deck. They're just like other things you could put in the deck to make it work. Um, you could actually main deck to effect veilers in here. You could take out um, the malefic cyber and a commandant because you don't need three commandants. And just main deck double veiler. And instead of the rank threes, you could throw in some synchros or do what you want. You can main deck a guard. A uh, guard's really good. Just 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 to have back the ability just to bounce a card when they flip them. And he's a 1900 defense if you don't have Necro Valley and a 24 with Necro Valley. So not a lot of things are getting over him. Heretic's actually not that bad. Just because he's um, an 1800 free summon, like you could summon him and you don't really. Have to, I ain't worried about nothing. Basically, you don't have to worry about anything. Uh. I actually probably would you can main deck shaman but I actually probably would side deck shaman just for the water matchup the bujin matchup um any deck that special summons a lot he's just she is just too good like but I you could main her but I wouldn't uh you can main deck visionary only if you're running a uh, magician circle magician circle says uh when a spellcaster type monster declares an attack each player, each player special summons one spellcaster type monster with 2,000 or less attack in their deck and face up attack position. Um, the effect to... they don't, You don't need to know they have a spellcaster type monster. As long as the spellcaster attacks and you activate this card, you basically bring out a free 2,500 that gains 200 for each gravekeeper in your graveyard. And if you were ever to be destroyed, you just discard another one. Making him stronger. So this guy, you when he destroyed period, so like if they try to bottomless him, just discard a gravekeeper and he stays on the field. Um Circle. If they have effect bailer, they must special summon a spellcaster. So if they're running effect bailer, you're basically getting a free twenty five hundred. So and there's I guess you could say the card's kinda slow, but you're playing a slow deck with a lot of back row. And if they waste an MST on this instead of one of your real back rows or Necro Valley. Then I don't see it. As, it's not that bad, but it's not that great. So you take your pick on that. Um, you could run Hidden Tombs in the Necro Valley. I just think I don't like this card just for the fact that you need to have both Great Keeper and Necro Valley on the board. I I don't know. I, I just wouldn't play it, but you guys could play it if you want. Um, and if either one leaves, the card's destroyed. Like just 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 run Vanities. Vanities is chainable. Like, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't like it. Um, Magical Dimension is actually a really good card in this deck. Uh, considering that your whole deck is Spellcaster. Um, and then, the tributing your monster is not a cost. So you just basically activate it. And everything else happens upon resolution. So, they can't respond to it. The only thing they could respond to is like... You target one monster you control, tribute that target, special summon one special type from your hand. And if you don't destroy a card in the field, they can torrential. But if you do just destroy a card in the field, they can't torrential. This card can single handedly just get rid of Stardust. Because Stardust, uh, it can't stop. The destruction is not guaranteed, so Stardust cannot stop that effect. Nor can. Uh, what's the other card? Ah, uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, Prime Material Dragon. This would just single-handedly just get rid of Prime Material Dragon and start. This is a very, it's a pretty decent card. So, he's it's a good card in Gravekeepers. I don't, I don't see why not. Oh, uh, Wonder One. I used to run Wonder One before like the sport was even announced, but I never liked it because like you needed a spell cast on the field. Wonder One could come in clutch with Recruiter though, but I don't know. I never really liked it like that. It's a good card, but. Just for the fact that it could be dead sometimes, I don't, I don't like playing it. Uh, oh my God, this card, Imperial Tombs of Necro Valley. Ah, uh, here my argument is the exact same as it was with Hidden Temples of Necro Valley. Like, I think Shaman should be enough. I think Seven Tools should be enough. If you're really scared about spell cards, play Dark Bribe or something. Don't. I just think the requirements are too high. Like a face-up gravekeeper. 
and Necroveli on board, like, you're asking too much. You're asking too much for the cost. I know, like, people say if you don't have a face of Gravekeeper and Necroveli, you're probably not winning anyway. But then how is a card that could be dead? Like, winning, I don't understand. This card is atrocious in the mirror match, though. The mirror match is retarded. Because you don't even need to control Necroveli. If they have Necroveli, and you just summon a Gravekeeper... Your tomb becomes live. Like, you can just start stopping their shit. I, I have a buddy who was saying uh, he's going to start siding it against Gravekeepers just to be a dick. Fuck you, Aaron. Shout out to Aaron Higgins. Um, but, yeah. Um, there's not really much else to say about this, guys. Um, that's, been, that's been the Gravekeeper deck pro profile for uh, post. Legacy of the Valiant, what's format is this? January 1st ban list? Yeah, we'll go with that. January 1st ban list. Um... So yeah, guys, uh, if there's any cards I missed, make sure to tell me down in the comment section below. And um, yeah, that's been me, Lobo. Out.